wow, <laughs> what a difference a knife makes. Honestly, uh, the one reason that I really didn't care about uh, about Monday Night Raw last night was the, the the amount of time I would have had to give in to the show. I tuned in at, at different various times and saw different things that I saw people were tweeting about and decided those are the things that I wanted to see. And uh, after seeing the contract signing last night, WWE has gone out of their way to really convince me that there is going to be, there can only be one champion at the pay-per-view. Um, I really thought that they were going to climb up there and both were going to grab their belts or grab each other's belts and just basically have a trade. How uh, one can go one way and one can go the other. I know that WWE also put out some uh, uh, publicity stuff for the Royal Rumble. Uh, talking about the World Heavyweight Championship and the WWE Championship. Um, uh, maybe they just did that not knowing what they were going to be doing on Monday Night Raw. Maybe they were just you know sending out uh, publicity stuff that... Uh, basically the writers of the show didn't know about. Maybe that uh, they had to come to Jesus meeting, as Stone Cold Steve Austin uh, would say, uh, you know, Vince and Triple H walk in the room with the writers and say, you know, everybody knows what we're going to do and we have to switch it up and we have to change it. I think that honestly, at the end of the day, the WWE Championship that they unveiled last year on the road to WrestleMania, I believe that's going to be the new belt. I believe that having this belt for only a year, even though I don't really love the belt, I've come to this being the belt. Uh, them saying goodbye to the uh, glorious Ric Flair WCW World Heavyweight Championship belt from the NWA days honestly would be a little sad, but honestly I think that uh, a show with only uh, you know one belt, only having one champion, I think is going to mean more. That champion's going to have to work more, uh, seeing how basically you know, you're not going to be able to have your one guy glued uh, to one show. I think he's going to have to be able to be a guy who's going to work SmackDown, he's going to have to work WWE. I think that this is going to help the uh, the undercard because they often do two house shows a day, and you know th there are A towns and B towns, but you know your A towns always going to get your WWE champion, and you know just because a guy is the United States champion or the Intercontinental champion, you know the way they've been booking the, these guys these days doesn't mean that they're going to be able to headline a show. I know that you have honestly two questionably three big stars, but it, it's not known if, if these aren't championship matches, if these are going to be able to, able to sell house show tickets. You know, when Raw comes to town or when um, a pay-per-view comes to town, people will buy up those tickets as fast as they come out because they want to go see WWE and they know that this is a televised show and they're not going to be giving them chicken shit. Uh, when it comes to a house show, honestly, uh... I want to go to the shows here, and I'm, a, and I'm an ultimate huge fan, but I know a lot of other people are waiting to see why they haven't named a match. They've, they've announced people that are going to be at the show, but also the same people that are booked at the show are booked at the other show uh, that they're running at the same time. And um, it, it just it doesn't make sense. It's not right. They should come out, you know, like last time they came here for... I know they came here for Raw, and they had an announced main event that was going to be, um... Fuck, I remember seeing it. Was, it was the tag match. And they ended up changing it, and it ended up being, uh... Um, the Shield versus Daniel Bryan and, um... Big Show. I think that Cena was supposed to be in there, Big Show filled in for him. But, I mean, at least you had that sort of a, a match to hang your hat on it, and it, it got changed. They always put that thing at the bottom of the screen saying, uh, you know, card subject to change, and Cena was hurt. He had that big-ass thing growing on the end of his elbow from his tear uh, tendon or whatever the heck it was. You've seen it on Total Divas. And, and, and he was able to go out there and give us one hell of a SummerSlam match. But we're, what was he really going to be able to do in a dark match in Sacramento after Monday Night Raw ended? Not much. So it was better that they put him out there. But, uh, you know, I was... Uh, I'm, I'm wondering what the hell they're going to do. Is it going to be, uh, you know, uh, Orton versus Cena because they're working a pay-per-view match? Is it going to be like Cena versus Orton? Or are they going to do some sort of a big, like, you know, Survivor Series sort of style four-way one-fall match like with the the Shield uh, and, like, Randy Orton going up against Punk and Bryan? Or I don't know what they're going to do, but th there's no outline of what the show's going to be. So it's like, do I really want to spend $100 and drive to Stockton to see a show on Friday night. I want to go, and uh, I'm probably going to go, but I'm not 100% sure. The Sacramento show would make more sense because the show is only 20 minutes away from my house, but I don't get off work until 8 o'clock because I wasn't able to get Saturday off. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, uh, you know they're, they're going to have their match, and, and from watching the uh, 
the contract signing, I mean, they, they deserve my buys. Uh, you know, I, I'm not a, a big fan of what else is on the show. Having two uh, different uh, handicap three-on-one matches is pretty fucking stupid. But you got to, you know, find a way to use these uh, three-man tags. And I don't think they're ready to give us uh, the Shield versus the Wyatts yet. If I had to put money on it, I'd bet Punk's going to lose and Brian's going to win. One of these matches has to be the, the underdog has to come out. No way I see the Shield uh, losing. I know that everybody's waiting for those days of the breakup. Honestly, I think we should hold on to the Shield as long as possible. I think the Roman Reigns honestly is going to be a big star. I don't think it's going to be today. I don't think it's going to be tomorrow. I think if you put him on his own come Mania time, he's not going to be ready. I don't know what you can do with this team, but you have to make this team hold on for at least six more months. At least longer than that. And then start your breakup angle. These guys have raised havoc in the WB for over a year. Uh, but I honestly don't think that he can stand on his own as a one-on-one uh, -on -one guy. I think that Dean Ambrose can. But I don't really see him as a guy that gets higher than the U.S. or the Intercontinental title. And I don't know what the hell is going to happen with Rollins once he gets out on his own. He's a guy that could make it or he could break it. It's up to the WB. It's up to the writers. Seeing if they have anything for him. Seeing how they keep using him in matches against Daniel Bryan. I think he is the guy that they want to keep around. But he also looks to me and seems to me like a guy that they've given up on a hundred times in the past. Not not they've given up on Rollins in the past, but given up on guys with his uh, size and likeness and uh, and things like that. We've seen with guys with like like him come and go. Over the years, a thousand times. Uh, Cena versus Orton, the contract signing was just like every other contract signing along the way. Uh, you know, but they used the tables, they used the chairs. I think there was a ladder in the ring, but I don't remember anybody using one. But this TLC match is going to be nothing other than awesome. I know that Cena's been in some matches, honestly, that have not really been the greatest. But uh, he does go out there and he does give us everything he can. He is the guy that knows that the, uh, the company rests on his shoulders and... Um, He's going to deliver. I guarantee you that. Uh, Orton, he's not my favorite guy, but in some, some matches he has stepped up. And he has really surprised me. Uh, where we go from here, uh, I'm not 100% sure. If I had to book this right now, i say Orton wins this. Uh, goes on the heel run, and then we have to see Cena as the guy who has to go on and try and win the Rumble. As long as uh, as well as guys in there like CM Punk and Daniel Bryan uh, that feel like they deserve uh, a shot. And you have a whole bunch of guys in the in the Rumble that it's hard to pick out who's going to win. Hopefully this year for the Rumble, they'll give us a build. Unlike last year, not giving us promos of the guys saying they were going to win the Rumble until minutes before the Rumble started. Uh, but I, but I'm, back on, I'm back on track. I didn't watch much of the show last night, but I do think the TLC is going to be a show that is watchable. I don't think it's going to be the worst show of the year. So, peace.